I'd say, uh, I think uh, she had the biggest gift to the nation is the chemical engineering. first assignment was then to uh, propose for the institution of the BS Chem and Curriculum. Kalino yung mga estudyante and uh, I have to study more, more than I have studied when I was in college. nabuo ang isang pangarap. The concept and the principles involved in the institution uh, was the brainchild of Dr. Adier, Dr. Landin, and Dr. Lozada. Pangarap na magtayo ng isang departamentong magbibigay tuon sa pananaliksik sa larangan ng agham at teknolohiya. Uh, part of the plan of the Chancellor then, Chancellor Adier, was to phase out the BS Sugar Technology Program. Um, we did not start from scratch you know, because we have already the Sugar Tech Program plus you know, along with the program are two experienced people, si Dr. Abrigo and Dr. Mobilion. Kasabay ng pagtatag sa College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology, ang konsepto ng pagbuo ng isang chemical engineering program. Actually, we became a college yung SIAT in 1983. Chemical engineering was one of the first departments along with the four departments in agricultural engineering. The administration of the SIAT program was transferred to a new college then, SIAT, that was on February 24, 1983. So from from CA and CS, we were transferred to the uh, new College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology. Along with uh, some faculty members, including Dr. Abrigo, and uh, of course with the staff, Mert and Mila, uh, with all the facilities and sugar tech program, became the nucleus for the new Department of Chemical Engineering. Sa isang binuo ng mga naunang miyembro ng departamento ang mga kailangan upang masimulan ang bagong programa. And from then on, uh, other faculty members were recruited to become faculty members. Uh, I was uh, recruited in 1984 before the institution of BS Capital Engineering. And a year after, The, the program was uh, approved by the board of major. So, since then, we, I have already participated and uh, been connected with the department the last 26 years. Isang taon matapos maitatag ang departamento, naging dekano ng SEAT si Dr. Ernesto P. Lozada. So, I became then and Dr. Abrigo became chair of the campaign program. And uh, maybe I could mention this, this opportunity that Dr. Abrigo did a good job in running the first... Uh, actually, he did most of the running of the first few years of campaign. We were able to get some uh, very modest grant from the Department of Science and Technology. And Dr. Abrigo started building up the pilot plant for chemical engineering with that amount. 
Unang nagsagawa ng klase ang departamento sa lumang gusali ng Sugar Technology Program. There was a building beside the SESAM. SESAM used to be the part of the Sugar Tech Program. For the first few years, Chem Eng Department uh, faculty and staff was in that uh, building. And uh, the administrators had plans, so uh, instead of uh, us staying there near SESAM, uh, Dr. Abrigo was already the chair then. So we had some uh, arrangements with the admin, they gave us some money and uh, we were able to establish this uh, building. So this is the first building after that uh, building near Setam. Hindi naging madali ang unang mga taon ng departamento. Iba't ibang mga pagsubok ang hinarap nila noon. We don't have any laboratory, unit operations now. And uh, we have to uh, come up with setups, and that uh, encouraged me to do design, and eventually became my uh, sideline outside. So we're able to come up with the unit operations laboratory. So sa laboratory, so yun lang yung kinatatakot na una, baka yung equipment hindi siya gagana. So anong gagawin mo para mapagana?